today I have the pleasure of speaking with Jim, Jim Engel from Moscow. How are you today, Jim? Terrific, Tracy. Thank you. And Jim, today I want you to provide us with three reasons, three compelling reasons why we should invest in Saskatchewan Gold. Well, there's um, uh, a, a, probably a lot more than that, but I'll try and pick the three the three choice ones. Uh, the first one, uh, Mass Gold owns uh, a, a significant portion of the Larange Greenstone Belt already, and uh, that fits in with where Ron Nedelitsky always b- believed there to be significant gold, as it duplicates where go- uh, a rock structure called the Trans Hudson Origin that is very similar in uh, West Africa where the prolific gold produ- production is there. That's one reason. The other reason Saskatchewan is uh, ranked number one as a friendly uh, mining uh, uh, political atmosphere. Um, and, uh, and, and, and that also brings into play how the gold really is still, not, hasn't been pardon me, properly explored. The gold was uh, uh, came as a result of the huge uranium deposits we have here, the huge potash pot deposits we have here. And as those got developed, the infrastructure for other mining and exploration got developed. And this is when these uh, deposits came to the forefront uh, and, uh, and they've never properly been explored and drilled even deeper than 300 meters for the most part in a lot of them, with the exception of the CB Santoy project. So um, those are, and and the, I guess the third reason or fourth reason is uh, uh, I have some familiarity with those properties. I was the director of finance for Claude Resources at the time that one went into production and also had been involved in the uh, the Jasper mine, et cetera, on, uh, on other occasions and another, another life of mine. Well, now I'm also going to put you on the spot and say, why gold? A lot of investors out there are going, no, no, we have to invest in crypto, you know, cryptocurrency, or we have to you know, invest in the latest cannabis technology to get more people involved in cannabis. Can you tell me why we should be looking at gold juniors right now? Well, I think in, in our particular case, with those mines that didn't uh, make it post 2000, it was a result of the gold prices at 300 or below per ounce. With gold six, seven times that these days and looks like going higher, uh, those former uh, deposits look exceptionally attractive as they haven't gone anywhere and cost of production surely has gone up a little bit, but not to the level that the price has. So um, for gold, I think, and in comparison, I guess I'm pretty traditional sort of guy. Uh, crypto, I, I'm not a big fan of, uh, to be very honest with you. Uh, and I, I like the fundamentals of, uh, of uh, gold with the instability in the globe right now. Uh, I think uh, gold should always shine through at the end of the day. Well, I think we should always treasure an opportunity to speak to an expert. And of course, Jim, you are an expert on Saskatchewan, or as they used to say in Tennessee, Saskatchewan. Can you tell me why you think Saskatchewan continuously wins year after year the best money district in North America, if not in the world? Well, I, th- I think it's a lot to do, with, certainly with the present government that we have, uh, but the the natural resources that we have are all conducive to uh, sig- what the world needs. And uh, we're a small population in a large area. And uh, uh, as a result, we got the right mine jurisdiction in, in the world here being ranked number one. And uh, that because of all our a very strong uh, resource base in the province, and it's going to be significant province going forward. Well, Jim, as always, that's Jim Engel from Mass Gold. If you want more information, go to this website. Jim, thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thank you, Tracy.